Hello everyone, today I wanna show you my orchids which I found from trash when we went to Florida on vacation and you see uh, most of you, you watched my video about my uh, orchid orchids which I found from trash and uh, thanks for your comments, I like your comments and I today I want to share with you what I am doing with these orchids it's too much work but it worth that um, uh, when I brought them home I didn't have time since I found these orchids uh, it passed three weeks three weeks ago I found these orchids uh, in nursery house and we were in Florida one week and I wanted to go home uh, as soon as possible I couldn't wait when we come home and I can replant these orchids and be, with, be, be busy with them and now as you see on this shelf I put my orchids uh, when I came home, I immediately asked my husband to buy shelf for me because uh, I don't have any place to grow them. All my windows uh, are busy with my plants. Uh, everywhere I have plants. Where I have windows, in every room I have plants, orchids and other plants. And all my uh, windows are busy. And these orchids, they don't have any place to be. And that's why my, I asked my husband to buy a shelf for me and he bought. And my uh, son, he fixed this. Uh, he put this shelf and he put growing lights on these shelves. Thanks him. And uh, I started being busy with them. I had uh, I couldn't start right away when I came home I couldn't start um, working with these orchids because I had final exams and I had to study and you know I have five kids it was hard for me but I was very sorry for these orchids I was thinking all the time I didn't want to kill any of them and my mind was busy with them but I did my exams uh, and after when I finished my exams right away I started uh, working with these orchids as you see on the two top shelves I placed my orchids which are blooming I started from well, I started working with my blooming orchids uh, and non-blooming orchids are sitting in the lowest shelf um, and I will be busy with them too uh, tomorrow turn will come to them and you see I washed these orchids all of them I washed and then I replanted them in my medium which I showed you in my previous videos you can find in the description below that video my orchid homemade uh, medium and Yesterday I showed you this Wanda, which I found from trash, and I put some um, gruti hormone. I cleaned its stem. I put uh, took off this dead leaves, and I put gruti hormone, and I put around the sphagnum moss, and I want to show you this too because it's time. Um, Every day I spray this Wanda. Not, I cannot say every day, once a day. Not, it's not once a day. Whenever I see the top of the moss is dry, I spray water like this from every side. I make it moist. And uh, from the from far away, I spray the leaves too, like this, like this. If you can see. 
and I make moist this uh, part always it I keep it moist whenever I see that the moss is dry it's getting dry very fast in my house and I spray this roots like this and I keep it moist I want to help this one there somehow to live to continue its living and yesterday I cut the tip of this leaf because it had fungus and I see that all diseased leaves are um, getting more bad and you see here the yellow leaf and I want to cut this part also I am not going to take out the whole leaf because it will help this Wanda to survive and root uh, here faster uh, I don't like to remove yellow leaves from my orchids I wait until they die naturally for example in here I will show you here with these orchids they have yellow leaves and I fed them already and these yellow leaves I am not removing because they will fall themselves until they will fall they will help this orchid somehow I don't know I don't have have habit to remove yellow leaves even from my African violets until they fall themselves I let them stay uh, in with the plant and I don't remove okay now I want to show you something I finished these two shelves they are done and whenever they are dry I have to water and that's it and these two shelves I am doing today what I am doing I want to show you these orchids um, these orchids and those orchids I didn't do anything with them yet and I will show you now what I am doing every day what I am doing with orchids on top of the table you see my orchids all of them are naked you see they don't have they are not potted yet and see the roots I washed them all I finished washing them I took sphagnum moss which is in the in between the roots here I took somehow it was hard to take they were super dry and when sphagnum moss gets dry it uh, look like wood it's too hard to take them out from this uh, through this roots and now I will show you what I am doing every day with my orchids here you see I soaked these orchids and I will show you something they have guests here all of them you see this guy it's very comfortable this orchids is their home they are a lot in this orchids that's why the owner owner uh, throw away I think he didn't want to treat this orchids you see what is this this is mealybug and they all life it's full of mealybugs and someone uh, on in my comments wrote that when I showed my mini orchids and my other bloomy orchids he told me that I have mealybugs in my orchids before showing uh, on my videos I have to treat them before showing to people I have to treat them but um, if you have mealybugs with naked eyes without uh, any glasses you can see this mealybugs now here I have mealybugs here I have I have lots of them and I know how to treat but with that orchids which I showed you in my previous videos I don't have any mealybugs here see how many are they here 
and all of these orchids are infested with mealybugs. And now I will show you what I am doing. It's m what I am doing. I don't know how other people do. Maybe they spray insecticide and ha everybody has his own way. And I have my own way. I want to show you what I do when I have this kind of uh, insects. I do uh, with my other plants. Even I showed you my plumeria when I washed it with, di with dish soap and I'm gonna do the same thing with this orchid and in that plumeria I don't have any spider mites I washed that with dish soap and that plumeria is very happy now it's growing new leaves and it's huge now with its uh, growing new leaves and see what I am doing don't be scared to wash orchid nothing is gonna happen they will not die if water goes in between the leaves they will not die they will die if you leave this water and you don't dry and see how the mealybugs are going here now i will show you this is my brush this is painting brush and I take some dish soap and I wash this orchid like this you see this mealybugs here and I wash this uh, brush is very comfortable it goes between the leaves and cleans everything what is there whatever is there it wash and it kills also you see i wash all my orchids like this with one bullet i am killing two rabbits now uh, i am cleaning this orchid from dirt it's very dirty and at the same time i am killing the insects See how I am washing? Between every leaf I brush it like this and I wash it. This is the simplest way and this way is very free. You don't need to pay. You don't need to buy anything and you just need to give time and wash once only and you will get rid of any insect if here if you have in your orchid in and in other plants also with every plant this method will work people uh, are scared to put water in between the leaves and they some people even don't know that they can put their orchids under the rain and most of people they asked me if they can uh, the leaves can be under the rain nothing will happen if they will not decay no they will not decay when you wash or you put under the rain when it rains you take you can take your orchid outside and put it outside when it rains and bring it back into the house when it finished rain see how I, how I am washing and I do with all orchids and this stem part you have to wash also because mealybugs they live on the leaves and on the stem they can be but in the roots I didn't see any and like so I wash all of them and I don't need to buy 
any insecticide and spray them so it's not only buying and spending money here but sometimes you don't know which insecticide to buy I uh, tried when I had uh, spider mites in my plumeria tree I tried all kind of insecticides even uh, you know the neem oil and other insecticides I tried different kind of them but none of them they worked as dish soap worked you know that's why I like this method and I use now for my orchids even the before plumeria I washed my orchids other orchids which I bought from the store and I made them clean and they don't die orchids they don't die and other plants they don't die from dish soap and when you wash and what I do I remove this I put on shower and uh, I remove the sphagnum moss I cannot leave the sphagnum moss uh, with orchids because you know when the sphagnum moss gets dry it gets super dry and when you water it doesn't take any water I tried to water these orchids in, when I was in Florida I tried to give them some water they, uh, some of them were all dried and I moistened them there but I saw that the water is not going in through this sphagnum moss because it was woody it was too hard now I s uh, before washing these orchids I soaked them in this uh, plastic box I placed them in here I put some water and you see they're sitting in water like this and I'm soaking them because the sphagnum moss it's in two layers you know inside there is uh, like cup and on top of the le uh, roots there is another layer of moss and that one which is inside it's very hard to remove and it becomes woody maybe that's why when we buy orchids uh, when we bring home and we water that uh, orchids they die from root rot maybe that's why they don't get um, water and when you put enough water they decay I don't know maybe that's why the you know it's very packed inside see how it's hard to remove and I keep this uh, water running you see and it the water is helping to remove this moss see how it's they put me probably these orchids were in small cup and small pots and when they fill that pot they put uh, around the roots again the layer of sphagnum moss and they put in a bigger pot that's why this moss in is in two layers you see how it is here one layer and when I remove there is another layer in the shape of the cup you see here and that part is very hard to remove uh, in greenhouses they don't plant as we do when we plant uh, when we replant our orchids we take out everything and we put new um, and we make this roots um, free and then we replant but there they don't have time how many orchids they have and they just put one layer of sphagnum moss and they place in a bigger pot that's it and that's why we have this kind of uh, hardship now see I remove everything I don't want to leave uh, this moss inside and replant this orchid with uh, in new medium I want to take out it's not because this moss is old it's because it's packed I can reuse this moss I use it I'm using it uh, don't judge me that I'm using old moss 
because it's too much you know if I buy moss for these orchids I have to buy a lot and I'm gonna use this moss I am already using I already used this moss uh, and I pl replanted other orchids which I showed you recently and my mini orchids I planted in their moss which I bought from the store and it was year ago and they are still in that old moss and they are not die instead they are happy and growing and still they in bloom they continuously grow their new buds and they are blooming i have to show you i have to update that too now you see i shake shake it now i took as much as i could sphagnum moss and the top layer i can leave this is see it's green moss and i can leave that it's not harmful and it's uh, even i cannot remove this part because it's between the roots and i don't want to damage any root i see how i am carefully taking from one side and uh, see here i have dead root and I re I'm removing this dead root and I can open this part if I can some, with some of them I'm doing that it's very comfortable when I plant it uh, in a pot it's comfortable if I open this part a little bit from here I can put some um, potty medium and I will make my job easier see and this much I can open and these roots are not letting me uh, to open them see how it grow and I don't want to break any of these roots I have to be very careful because these are beautiful roots and that's it and I will show you now if I have here some bugs or not. Let's go onto the table. I will shake it a little bit like this. And let's go to say to the table and I will show you. Do you see any bug now? No bug is left. And I cleaned with the brush everything what was here between leaves you see it's clean uh, and I cleaned this orchid and at the same time I got rid of that box now you see it's clean and it will be happy these orchids you see now they are dry I put them when I wash, after washing, I lay them like this and all the water goes down and I put a fan off, eh, on, sorry, fan on and it's drying these orchids and I get busy with other orchids. Here I have two orchids which I already washed, they are clean and I have to clean these roots, I didn't clean yet and see how I am re removing this dead roots and this part I can leave and this dry part I will remove from them these brown roots they will die anyway in the pot they will decay because there is no sign of life you see they are black and I have to remove them whatever is dead I will remove if you are new in orchids um, I will show you what to remove you see this is green 
green root it it means that this is life everybody knows that but uh, this ones you see they are not juicy they are brown and even you see that you can easily remove this uh, roots and this uh, kind of uh, you know this part is dead and this is here I have green root what to do in this case what I do I take out the velamen and I leave this live root I don't cut this root from here I don't cut it I just uh, clean whatever I can clean even with my fingers I can clean this uh, part and that's it I leave this root I don't take I don't cut it even the middle of the root is dead here I clean and this root branched you see here it has still uh, live root and this root is dead and I removing it whatever is dead I remove see this is dead These orchids, um, they were all dried. Uh, some of them very, they were very super dry, and I tried to water them, but still, you know, I couldn't give them enough time in Florida, and when I was back, and now most of roots are dead. If I treated them three weeks ago, the roots. Uh, we're not dead now they are dead most of them but still it has pretty roots now see if I wash and show you you will see it has enough roots to grow and to take uh, nutrition through this root see now it's done and these roots are okay still I don't need to cut them and now this orchid is clean and ready to plant here I have but this orchid I don't need to clean to cut anything except this one this root I can take it out I can cut it and this one and that's it they have very beautiful roots good roots still they are good you know three weeks they are sitting without pot and still they are alive it means that these orchids want to live it was not written on their history that they have to die I found them and see they are clean and they will be happy I hope see how beautiful orchids they are and they have a small fungus here and this one also and when I pot them all I will treat them with fungicide and here I have another example you see this beautiful orchid and it's not dangerous if I wash this orchid with soap you can think that uh, that I have uh, orchids from trash that's why I'm not scared and I'm washing all of them with the soap no it's not that you can wash even blooming orchid it's not gonna harm this orchid and see what I am gonna do with this orchid I will do the same thing I take soap and I wash this orchid also this leaves you see and in between the leaves 
like this. This orchid has only two leaves and the rest of the leaves it dropped I think. You see that it has long stem and it had lots of leaves. These are sign of leaves. One, two, three, yeah, four. It had six leaves, I think. No, here, five. Five leaves. Seven leaves totally with these two leaves. And it dropped, it dried out all of other leaves. And I will tell you something which you don't need to do here this orchid has long stem and if I remove this you know this uh, dead leaves these dead leaves uh, I will wash and you, I will show you with some orchids I remove these dead leaves but with some I don't remove. Why? I will tell you. If I remove these dead leaves, these dead leaves, they are holding these uh, new leaves. Sometimes when you remove these dead leaves, these uh, new leaves, they will hang like to side to side. You know, they, they, will, uh, they will become not strong. And uh, I will leave because these uh, dead leaves they are clean you see they're just dry and it's not harmful if I leave it here I, uh, but this one this one which is close to the roots I can take it I you know I divide it in two parts and I, I if I pull two sides it will come easily like this you see how it's easy remove these dead leaves and the rest I will leave because I don't uh, these leaves dry leaves are holding these new leaves and see I'm rinsing it some of them they have millibugs and some of them they don't have some of them they have you know um, fungus they are diseased, most of them are diseased. You see that it has beautiful roots and uh, as I told you it's uh, potted, uh, it was potted in small pot and then they put on top other layer of sphagnum moss and see it grow new roots here and I'm removing this uh, strings I don't need that and whatever I see that I remove for example this dead root I don't need and this one see how it's growing new roots beautiful roots it has like this I will cut these dead parts I don't touch the live part I have to go a little bit far from the live part and only that part I will take out see I am removing and th this moss is soft now it was like wood before I soak them it's uh, impossible to take out through this roots this moss it's very hard and now it's soft when I put under the running water it becomes more softer and I feel where I am pulling I don't pull this kind of baby roots see it has white, white baby roots inside and I don't need to pull from them and I have to, s to feel every time what I'm pulling out I'm pulling sphagnum moss or root I'm feeling with my fingers that's why I don't wanna wear 
gloves it's very uncomfortable i don't feel with gloves uh, when i um, put through that one the somebody wrote in my comments that i have to wear gloves it's very dangerous to work with rooting hormone i know that i know that it causes cancer but what i can do i cannot work with gloves that's why every time when i even work outside in my garden i never wear gloves somehow i have to learn how to wear gloves and work with the gloves but i don't know how to and i don't feel and my hands sometimes they become very ugly that i work in my garden without gloves <laughs> and what i can do i have to learn somehow thank you for remind me reminding me that i have to wear gloves when i work with rooting hormone i know that even i know i uh, i i'm very thankful people that they are reminding me that thank you all let's see how i am taking the moss from this roots it's little bit tricky that Sometimes when you buy uh, orchid from the store, they don't have this much roots and it's very easy to take uh, out uh, to free them from the medium. But you see what's going on here. They have very healthy roots, these orchids, but the top is not healthy. Owner, he could, uh, you know, to, he could treat these orchids with infesticides, but uh, probably he didn't want, or I don't know. They don't want a bed, and they throw away these poor orchids. See how beautiful these orchids are. All of them are pretty and in good shape. Few of them they are not in good shape. They have yellow leaves with fungus and this orchid you see here i started washing and it has see it's black on here i don't know it's uh, they call it black rot i think and this orchid is dying i don't want to throw away i will wait it maybe it will grow babies from the roots because I had this kind of uh, orchid before with my um, mini orchids, exactly this picture, and I didn't throw away, and it grew babies from the roots, and now that orchid you have to see it's blooming, and I will wait this orchid. I will give it chance. If it wants to grow, it will grow babies, cakes if it wants to die it will die what i can do but i will not throw away i will give it chance i will put among my orchids and i will treat uh, it whenever it wants to be watered i will water and but i will not feed this orchid because it's it doesn't have any growing uh, leaves and way to feed nonsense to feed the orchid which doesn't have any blooms or leaves these uh, roots will die very fast if you feed if they don't get, have any growing stuff now it's done you see and I will shake it a little bit and I want to free these uh, roots see how I'm doing it if I shake it now, uh, these uh, roots which are bound, they will open, see, see, now I can open this part and I can plant, it's easy to plant when 
the roots are open you can place here your potting medium in the center and place in a pot see it's easy now now this pretty girl is clean and happy without insects without any dirt see how it's beautiful these are pretty flowers you see how they are pretty i love them all and i place them it this one on top of the table and i will show you other uh, blooming orchids which I washed in this exactly in this way you see they're waiting uh, when I will pot them they had bugs also mealybugs and now they are clean you cannot see any uh, mealybugs you cannot find now because I washed it and see it's blooming orchid and I will show you here are other blooming orchids you see here and this ones all of them are blooming orchids and here I have and see how what I did with all of these orchids I did the same thing I washed them with dish soap and I replanted and they didn't die they didn't decay you see they're very happy and these uh, flowers are growing they're becoming huge you see when I um, replanted them I fed them I and after feeding I will show you uh, after feeding uh, you have to see their leaves do you see the leaves? I fed them all and there you see and on top shelf I put some orchids which I washed and I didn't feed this ones yet I think because the pot is very light I feel from the pot some of them I fed some of them I didn't feed yet and when I finish uh, with these ones, I will fit them all together and see they are very happy instead of dying, they are continuing living. They are all pretty and look at this one, it has different lip, shape of the lip is very different. And all of them are different they differ from each other and they are beautiful and on top shelf on there there if you can see i put some of them and you see i am placing whatever i wash i am placing on top shelf whatever uh, needs to be washed they are sitting they are waiting their turn and I will update when I started uh, start planting these orchids in my medium. I'm using my homemade medium. If you didn't see that video, you can go to that video and learn how I'm making my homemade medium. Thank you for watching. Please follow my videos. Uh, we will discuss more problems, more success, and I will show what's new with my trash orchids. I will tell you everything, what's going on with them. Um, if they die, I will show you. If they will survive, I will show you that. And thanks, thank you for watching and thank you for your comments. Please subscribe and be with me. Happy gardening, bye.